Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I was just curious uh, what your department, your agency does. I saw it said inspections. Yeah, for uh, development of housing. Oh, for housing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. What's your name, sir? Joseph Flores. Do you have a problem? Do I have a problem? Yeah. I mean, why are you recording me? Oh, because you work for the government. Yeah. No, there's no problem, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. How old is that? Yeah, no problem. Uh, what is your title, sir? County inspector. County inspector, okay. Um, when you say inspecting housing, are you talking about like, um, like publicly funded housing or? No. Uh, private development. Private development. Yeah. So, like, you give, um, like, maybe for these big, like, tracts of land where the big, uh, construction companies come you you're the guy who approves the the plans or something or no i don't have plans that's engineering downtown okay I mainly i just expect uh construction since right away like you're talking about for roads yes okay okay so you work with like the T texas department of transportation no 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 that's text okay department of transportation you just said it i don't work with them i work with them along trying to develop anything that they're doing so it's in accordance with what the county is expecting of those subdivisions and it works accordingly to what the engineers have done that time. and the engineers they work for the county or the state government well we work at the level of the county but the county works for the state you know what i mean uh, the county as a whole okay as an entity works for the state but we are employed by the county. You know what I mean? Right, I understand you're employed by the county. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what what your office does. Um, well, my office does many things. They approve plans, they approve plans, tracks, they approve plans for single homes. It depends. They do a lot. It's just not just what I do, but what I do is inspect the private uh, okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe just right away, not anything to do vertically. Wait, I'm sorry. What, what do you mean by vertically? Yeah, like that building is vertical, right? The uh, O'Reilly's. Yes. I okay. Don't approve anything that goes up. I don't approve whatever's in the right away. I'm just asking to you because I'm not trying to do anything. If everything is okay. If you had a question. Yeah, no, that's why I'm asking you questions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to figure out uh what your agency does. Um Well my like I said, my agency does a lot. What I do is just inspect the right of way for the development of uh, new subdivisions. Okay. You're asking a very broad question. Right, right, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm trying to yeah. because you're not asking me what I do. Okay. My question is, is there a problem because People have asked me what I do all the time, and I have no problem telling them. But like, what is the point of recording? I can be recorded. I have no problem being recorded. Okay. I posted myself online, so my face is online. Sure. But I'm asking, why are you doing it? Well, I have some viewers on a YouTube channel, and I just do research on different government programs. This isn't meant to be anything. Oh you no. Know. Is okay. Let me explain that further. Just because of my title, I've mm -hmm. been, uh, how you say, mistreated by the public. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Yeah, I... Exactly. So that's why I'm kind of like, what's going on? Because I don't try to do anything, you know? You're I not going to get any of that from me. I have nothing but respect for you. No, I'm no, just, no, no. yeah. And, and I'm just telling you because for me, my morale is that I want to do the house things right because somebody's going to move in there and live in there, you know? Right. I don't want anybody to be doing bad work where... The sewer pipe might break in front of your house, and then you're gonna be, oh, you know what? I move out to a bad neighborhood. I have good morale in trying to like make the world a better place, you know? Yes, sir. Because I don't know if you would struggle with this, but I did. Um, I didn't have a house, and I was living with uh, family members. Okay. Until I got this job, you know? 
and now I have a house and I'm very happy to be one. I don't want anybody to buy a crappy house and then like live in a crappy neighborhood, you know? Yes, sir. Just trying to make better, better life, better world out here. Not trying to do anything crappy for anybody else. Nobody deserves to be treated crappy. Nobody deserves to move into a house and then you're going to be worried about your pipes breaking in front of your house and then smelling like crap because the sewer broke. Right, right. That happened to me. And like I said, I have a lot of hostile people coming out to me because I live, I, I work and my problem here is that my position is it's a paradox. Okay. If I'm too too harsh on the contractors, they take to me as I'm like a bad person. Right. But if I don't do anything, people are like, ah, oh, that guy's just lazy. He doesn't want to expect anything. Oh, you know okay. I mean? Yeah. So I live in a, I work in a paradoxical job where either I do my job, people consider me a bad person. And if I don't, they consider me lazy. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you're in a catch-22. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just going on a circle. Yeah. Self, uh, self, what is it called? Self. Self-fulfilling prophecy, I there think. There you go. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, either what I do, if I don't, if I do, then it's always a problem, you know? Uh, damned if you don't, damned if you do. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. that's that's what sucks because I'm just trying to do my job and I'm trying to do inspections so the house is done to what is according to plan. And, you know, you don't have like a crappy house, a crappy street, a crappy neighborhood just because developers didn't want to take care of it. Right, right. I'm just looking out for the, for the guys out there. Yes, sir. I mean, you're you're here for the the health and safety and welfare of the public. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as much as I can do. I'm right. Not, are you saying I'm not, I'm not the first person? I'm not the best person, but I'll try my best. <laughs> and I appreciate your service. All right. Um, do you have a business card, sir? Yeah. I I don't know if you ever saw uh, I, Robot. Uh, I don't watch many movies lately, uh, but I've heard of that movie. I've never seen it, but. Okay, well, there's a part that says, like, uh, there's a guy saying, uh, I don't got all the answers, but I can point you to the right direction. Is, is that the one with Will Smith? Yeah. Okay, maybe I did see that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has a hologram, and the hologram just only responds to certain commands. Right. So, I mean, that's my card. I okay. don't have all the answers because, like I said, I'm just an inspector. Right. But if you need anything, I can put you to the right engineer, if anything. You know what? I don't have any um, specific questions. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. I know you're a busy man. Um, I have no, no complaints. I have no specific questions. I was just trying to get just a general overview no, of, no, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm trying to explain to you because... Yes, sir. Constituents have come up to me and they're like, why you guys don't fix up the road? That's not my department though. Right. That's not me, you know? Right. And I'm like, sorry, you're, you're, you're listening to the wrong person. Yeah. I can point you to the right person, but I'm not the one to be talking like, about that. Well, and you know what? I'm glad we ran into each other today because that's exactly what I'm doing with my YouTube channel is I'm trying to inform the public of what agencies do what because... Oh. Um, there's many things, whether it's taxes or police or what you do with inspections, that a lot of people don't know certain things about certain agencies. So I'm, I'm gathering all that information and putting it on my YouTube channel just for general information for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. I mean, it would be better if you go downtown and try to like get informed through there because I mean there's a lot of engineers and all that for that and I will do that sir that's a very good idea yeah me I can just tell you I, I look over anything that has to do in the county uh -huh. from the right away even if it's like property that's already been built okay but mainly I focus on subdivisions because there's a lot of construction going on right now since their the past is growing too much oh yeah yeah so they can only grow east I have about five subdivisions that I'm overseeing okay so <laughs> is that like that's more than usual huh yeah i mean yeah it, it is but it's work <laughs> right right okay yeah i'm glad that you're you're gainfully employed <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> and uh again i know you're a busy man and i appreciate you taking the time if i have any other questions i'll um i'll send you an email or maybe am i able to text you on your 
on this number or the cell phone yeah you can but like i said if i don't got the answers for you i'll just try to point you to the right direction i appreciate that i am just an inspector i'm not an engineer yes sir and that's why i tell all people like the decisions that come from me okay just the quality assurance comes from me right quality control quality assurance comes from me right i don't have anything to do with decisions right yeah, yeah it sounds um it sounds like there's your job is complex, like a lot of jobs. So um, if I have any other further questions, I'll reach out to you. I'll, I'll send you a text message on your mobile. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also, I'll send you a copy of this video. Yeah, I mean, if I can check it out, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. What is your channel again? Oh, Horizon City News Service. Horizon? Uh, Horizon City. Oh, Horizon City News, News Service. Service. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you live within this area? Yeah, I live by the high school, the Horizon High School. Let me ask you a thing because I'm not from the area. How do you think about like all the problems that have been going on in this area? Like a lot uh, of things have been going on East Lake, like violence, the there was a chase, right? Like, I, you know what? There's always occasionally there's chases, but the biggest thing that concerns me actually is uh, a couple of weeks ago down at the Vista Market on Alameda in Socorro. Okay, okay. There was a very violent stabbing murder, and there was a man. He was 40 years old. I think he was actually originally from Mexico. He had like a very, like almost like Indian Mexican name. And um, he killed somebody. He stabbed them to death in the parking lot yeah. at like 10 in the morning. It wasn't nighttime or anything. It was just over like disrespect of a parking spot. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I've just seen a lot of things on the news and I'm like, the, the gentleman that got shot because he uh, holding of the gas station over here on on East Lake and Peyton? Um, I think you're talking about uh, there was like a shooting with the state troopers. That was last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. But that's the one? Yeah, that, that's one I heard of. Maybe there was another one. I don't know. But yeah, yeah I know on Peyton there was a shooting with the state troopers. Yeah, on the gas station that is in that corner. Yeah. In East Lake, right? Next yeah. to the Wendy's. Down, yes. yeah. Yes. Corner of Peyton and, yes, and East Lake, like, yeah. Things going on in the Far East. And even like that brawl, like 40 people were involved. Where was this? I didn't hear about that. On the east side, I don't know exactly where, but on the east side of town. And you know what? You're going to get that because as the city grows and you have more people, you're always going to just naturally have, you know, more crime and more craziness because you have more people. So, yeah. Yeah, I understand. It's, just a, it's kind of crazy that that's happening because I've been here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been here since December of 2007 and the way Horizon is today, this is nothing like what I remember. When I first moved here, there was no Walmart, no, no Walgreens. There was, no Walmart. there was only one street and several, like a few houses. Yeah, 7-Eleven, that was it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like all this. Yeah, so that, and the, that's why now you have these new things. Like, yeah. yeah I mean, I, un I understand that more quantity means more people, means more problems, but I don't know. It, it just kind of disappointed that we don't move forward as a society. You know what I mean? Well, now you're getting philosophical. Exactly. Now, this is a conversation for church now. <laughs> well, I mean, that's another conversation because yeah. I'm religion now. Yeah. But I'm just trying to be a better person and try to make people around me a better person. But I'm just one person, so sure. I can't do much. Well, we can stay in touch. I got a YouTube channel. I'll text you. You'll have my number. If you have anything else that you want to put out there for the people to hear about how society should be, we could definitely talk later. I mean, it's too long of a conversation. For right now, yeah. yeah. But for later, we could talk later. Yeah. But, I mean, the only thing that I can say is that I am really tired of people just treating each other bad. Well, and but that's a big question with a lot of different answers as to what to do, though. There, there, there is a lot of answers, but I'm just telling you from my point of view because I've been mistreated mm -hmm. and I don't think it's fair because a lot of things get misunderstood and mm -hmm. I think it's just, you gotta put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to explain yourself in order for them to explain themselves as well because everybody goes through different stuff, not just yourself, you know? That's it. And you know what? Unfortunately, I hate to tell you this, but I had to learn the hard way after many years that a lot of times life isn't fair um and just sometimes all you can do is just go home and keep your life clean and you can't control all this stuff you know i mean yeah life isn't fair but let's not be unfair to each other
I totally agree. Yeah. yeah. I wish there was more people like you. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if somebody's gonna treat me unfair, I, I'm still gonna defend myself because Absolutely, I, I don't yeah. believe in turning the other cheek. Okay. People shouldn't be able to take advantage of you over and over because if they can, they will. So you know, I have to learn the hard way about that too. You yeah. Sometimes you gotta teach them. Yeah. But I don't know, man. Yeah, man, we got a lot more to talk about. You're my type of guy. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lot of people's type of guy, but they need to get to know me. Yes, sir. They need, yeah. to put, they need to put effort because not everybody just comes in there and like pours their soul out. I think you have a good story. We should talk more about it later. I would love to get you on my channel and just, even if it's just for two minutes, and just say maybe we could talk about something going on in the city, your favorite restaurant, anything, you know? Whatever you want, man. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to start a podcast with one of my friends. Okay. Uh, myself. You so know what? My channel could definitely help you with that. I have a lot of viewers, and whatever <laughs> you want to start, I can get you the word out there for you. Yeah, because, I mean, we have a lot of, like, it's a lot of, like, in comparison. Mm -hmm. I am that kind of person that you're like hearing, and mm -hmm. then my friend gives me the other side. He's the devil's advocate for me. Yes, sir. So it's like trying to have like you know diametrical opposing views mm -hmm. just for the area of like having an argument or a discussion. But yeah, and then we can get the whole city and the whole county involved and see what they have to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do. Start with my street and then move up to my block and then move up to my side of town maybe yes sir make it better and um there's another uh podcast i'll remind it to you later i'll send you the channel name on your cell phone it's also called um uh el bay or el valle bajo podcast they're a bunch of guys in socorro yeah they also have a youtube channel oh, okay, and okay. uh sometimes i work with them uh, okay, and okay. uh yeah yeah there's a lot of things that can be done yeah, well, just let me know. Yes, sir. I gotta keep on going because I gotta. Keep oh no, going. I know you're a busy guy. I've been. I was yeah. just trying to hydrate. <laughs> oh, of course, yes, sir. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm sorry that people out there are treating you badly. I have nothing but good intentions. No, so no. yeah. I was just happy because because of the same problem. Right. I kind of like, hey, what's going on? Because I've been treated badly. Right. I understand. And, yeah. You know, it's not like defending. It's just like, oh, here comes you know, here comes the shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm sorry you have to deal with that, but not from me. Not from me anytime. Yes, sir. Just, just trying to see what's going on as well. I'm not trying to be confront, confronting. Uh, confrontational. Confrontational. There you go. Right, right. Sorry. English is my second language. Oh, no, no. You're good. I'm, you're smarter than me. I wish I knew a second language. Oh, no, no, no. It's not, but I'm not smarter than anybody. I just know myself that I'm part of, like, any human being that wants to approach me right now. Mm -hmm. so I just got the chance to learn a second language. I had to. <laughs> well, I know you take it for granted, but I, I wish I was you because no, being bilingual is, is very important. It, it can be very helpful. Yeah, it, yeah. it, is, it is. Yeah. But don't, don't sell it short, short. If you can learn a little, little Spanish here and there, I, I'm, I think like most of people that knew, know, know Spanish appreciate it. Oh, yeah. No, I, I try to learn a few words every. Oh, he took, he took the time to like say that. Oh, good. Right, I right. That. Like, ah, oh, muy bueno, muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yep. But, yeah, man. If anything, just let me know. Thank just, you, Caesar. You uh, take care, man. Yes, sir. You too. If anything, just see you around. Yeah, drive safe. Um, and like I said, I'll text you on on your cell phone. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to anybody to hear They say pay it forward, but I don't understand that meaning. Just, um, oh, pay it forward. Yeah, pay it forward, but treat each other kind. Yeah, that's what that means, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand pay it forward. Oh, it means like basically... Um, yeah, no, like in, in my, in, in my uh, double language mind, pay it forward doesn't mean that. Just be kind to each other. That's a better saying for me, you know what I mean? Yeah, except that in English, I guess pay it forward involves money. So basically, for example, if I saw you at the gas station and you were having a bad day... Maybe I would buy you coffee or buy your gas or something. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I mean, like, just treat each other nice. Right. Yeah. I mean, if it's somebody struggling, uh, give a helping hand. Right, right. So, yeah. If anything, like I said, man, just let me know because I got an inspection. So I'm yes, sir. Working or I'll get Take care of your business. Have a good day. Have a good day. And uh, we'll be in touch. Take care. Yep.